So thank you all of you for coming. My name is Bertha Crosco. I am principal at Bradford Elementary. And we are so excited to have Ms. Linda here. And she is the author of our book. And today we're launching a very important day. We are celebrating St. Angela Reads. Reading is so important. And we want you to love reading forever. So thank you all for all for making this happen today. We're very appreciative and excited to have you. Our next person is Mayor Gunter. Welcome to Bradford. Thank you. I am so excited to have been invited to come read a proclamation today. But first I want to talk about a little story about my life, and that is that when I was growing up, I lived out in the country, 11 miles from the smallest town, and that town was only 300 population. So we had to drive about 30 miles to get to a city that had a library. And the greatest thing for all of us in our family was my mother would take us to the library, the county library, every time we went to town. And we had so much fun going through the library and figuring out which books we were going to be able to take out that day and enjoy for the weekend. So I grew up knowing that books brought so much to our lives in terms of not only the stories, but it expanded our minds in terms of places we could go or visit or might want to live. I grew up believing in reading. I grew up believing in books. And I truly believe that the greatest joy and adventure you can ever go on is through a book. So today I'm going to read this proclamation, and it goes as follows. San Angelo ISD is committed to building the literacy skills of the children of San Angelo and to instill a passion for reading in every student. As part of this commitment, SAISD is partnering with the City of San Angelo, the San Angelo Area Foundation, and other community groups on a community-wide literacy initiative to focus on the importance of literacy called, quote, San Angelo Reads. SAISD administrators, principals, and educators are focusing on this initiative in schools together with comprehensive literacy programs. SAISD invites the San Angelo community to join in and get to reading. Therefore, I, Brenda Gunter, Mayor of the City of San Angelo, Texas, on behalf of the City Council and together with San Angelo Independent School District, administrators, principals, educators, staffs, and students, do hereby proudly proclaim December the 9th, 2020, as San Angelo Reads Day, and urge all the citizens of San Angelo to acknowledge the occasion of this day in celebration of the importance of literacy and of instilling a passion for reading in our youth. In witness whereof I have unto set my hand and have caused this official seal of the city of San Angelo to be affixed this 17th day of November 2020. Let's read! <laughs> Mayor Gunter, thank you so very much for that very inspiring and motivating talk. And, and guys, isn't that nice to hear adults talking about the importance of reading and how when we were kids also growing up that we learned how to read and that we still love it today and so that's what's exciting about reading i'm dr jana ritter and i am the assistant superintendent of curriculum and instruction for san angelo isd and this is a very special day for all of us and something that has been kind of a a dream of ours and we've been we've been working a lot in our schools haven't we lately on reading have you been doing that the last few years and your third graders this year? So I'll bet you started kindergarten and then went to first grade, second grade, and every one of those grades, you learned more and more about reading and the importance of reading. So reading is fun, and not only is it fun, it's really good for you to learn how to read and practice and continue to get better because that helps you to be great thinkers. It helps you to be great predictors and inferential thinkers and it meets our learner profile you've heard about our learner profile too right in our schools so we have lots of adults here today and lots of partners in our community helping us with this san angelo reads initiative and this is just the beginning we're going to do all kinds of cool things with san angelo reads for for years to come so we hope that even by the time you're in middle school and high school you can go read to some elementary kids would you like that 
because we'll still be still be really highlighting reading in St. Angelo. So we want to thank our HEB. Y'all see HEB Buddy? Did you wave up? Did you wave at HEB Buddy? And HEB is here, and they have they're a great partner. They're doing a lot of stuff and donating some cool things to us for this launch and throughout this initiative. And I also have some other people that I want to introduce you to, Mr. Matt Lewis and Ms. Janet Karcher, who are with the San Angelo Area Foundation. Can you guys hold your books up for me? And I want you to look at them and say, thank you, San Angelo Area Foundation. One, two, three. Thank you, San Angelo Area Foundation, because they donated these books to every third grader in our entire school district. Isn't that pretty cool? So what are you gonna, let's clap, thank you. Yeah, so what are you going to do with those books? You know what I want you to do with them? I want you to take them home, and I want you to read it to someone at home. You think you can do that? Yeah, and even take your picture and send it to your teacher, and we'll tweet it out. So that will be really fun. So today's a great day, and thank you to our entire district staff and our teachers and to Bradford for hosting today, and thank you to our author. We're so excited to, to know more about and hear about the book. So at this time, I'm going to turn it over to um, Janet Karcher from our San Angelo Area Foundation. Well, are y'all so excited? Jana made me like tear up a little bit because um, <laughs> I just love to see um, our students in our community, um, you know, encouraged to read and. I know that um, sometimes it's not always easy, but um, keep pushing through it. Um, work with your teachers, work with your parents, practice, practice, practice um, is, is very important when it comes to reading. So I have something that I prepared for you um, about the book and about Miss um, Miss Linda. Um, so the San Angelo Area Foundation and our supporters collaborated with the ACU Press and Dr. Linda Thorson Bond to create a beautiful book all about San Angelo to engage you as young readers. This book is filled with colorful photos that capture the uniqueness of our community, and we hope that you will enjoy reading all about the community where you live. Many of the photos may be familiar, um, places that you have visited, and now with this book, you can learn a little bit more about the wonderful people, places, and things that make our community so great. Today, you guys are in for a very special treat. Not only do you have your own copy of San Angelo A to Z, I have with me today Dr. Um, the author of San Angelo A to Z, Dr. Linda Thorson Bond, and she's going to help bring San Angelo A to Z to life by reading it to you today. Give her a big Bradford Elementary welcome, Dr. Linda Thorson Bond. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to be here and reading with you. I'm going to read through the alphabet, and I won't read everything, so there'll still be some things for you to read that will be new to you when you get home, but I'd appreciate it if you'd read along as we start at A. All right. A is for art, el arte. In San Angelo, you can look at all kinds of art. Watch art being made and create your own art. There's always something exciting happening at the San Angelo Museum of Fine Arts. The building has art inside, outside, and all around. B is for bison, el bisonte, the big woolly animals that have been in San Angelo since the beginning of time. You can see bison at San Angelo State Park. They roam around the 7,700-acre park eating grass, but they come running when they hear the herd boss bringing them bales of hay. Stay behind the fence when they come near you to keep you and the bison safe. C is for Concho River, El Rio Concho, where San Angelo began. The Concho River is one of the few rivers in a city that has a popular community fishing area. You can catch bass, uh, catfish, carp, bluegill, and rainbow trout. Birds like the cormorant dive in the water and catch their supper here. D is for donkey, El Burro. There are almost a thousand donkeys at Peaceful Valley Donkey Rescue. Located just out San An outside San Angelo, Peaceful Valley Donkey Rescue gives abandoned or mistreated donkeys a good life and helps donkeys find new homes. E is for education, la educación. That's very important in San Angelo. 
Angelo State University has a hundred different majors, so students can find a subject they love, like math, science, technology, or art, and study with experts in that field. What's your favorite thing to study? Art. 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 <laughs> Excellent. Goodfellow Air Force Base is G. La Base Area de Goodfellow. Though the Air Force is known for airplanes and pilots, there is no flight training on the base. People come to Goodfellow from all over the United States to study three special areas of military skills, intelligence, cryptology, and military firefighting. H is for Heritage Park, La Parque de Patrimonio. That's a small park that shows how important ranching is in San Angelo. When you scan the QR codes on the information displays in Heritage Park, you can watch videos about the ranchers who settled East West Texas. One tribute to Henry Pfluger was, um, it was born in Germany and started a farm on land called Brushy Knob. You may meet a lot of his relatives here in San Angelo. I is for International Water Lily Collection, La Colección Internacional de Nenúferas. There are seven ponds with more than 450 kinds of lilies, and more photos are taken there than anywhere else in San Angelo. People come from all over the world to see the rare flowers at the International Water Lily Collection. Lilies like the Blue Cloud from Australia and Texas Dawn, the official water lily of Texas. J is for Humano, La Tribu Humano. The people who lived in West Texas and New Mexico long before Europeans immigrated here. In 2018, the Humano and members of the Catholic Church in San Angelo worked together to have statues made of the Lady in Blue, a Humano chief and, the ch and a child. The statues were created by sculptor Vic Payne, and you can see them on the banks of the Concho River. K is for Kids Kingdom. El Rieno de los Niños, a park in downtown San Angelo that was designed by children. <laughs> the, ch the San Angelo Park and a design company met with 20 to 30 children and let the kids design anything they wanted. That's why this park has a rocket ship, a boat, slides, tubes, bridges, tunnels made out of huge tires, rope swings, and climbing ropes. The kids thought of it all, and the city worked with volunteers to build it. L is for libraries, las bibliotecas. San Angelo has four libraries where you can read and borrow all kinds of books for free. The children's library has books, special reading areas, costumes, and story time. The STEAM Central Market Space, Maker Space, has almost 200 STEAM programs and tools, like a 3D printer, a laser cutter, and a die cutting machine. This is one of my favorites. M is for monarch butterfly, butterfly, la mariposa monarca. Thousands of monarchs visit San Angelo as they fly south for the winter and north for the summer. Monarchs can travel between 50 to 100 miles a day. It can take them up to two months to complete their journey. The furthest a monarch has ever traveled was 265 miles. That's about just as far as from San Angelo to Dallas. N is for Nature Center, El Centro de la Naturaleza. This is a safe place for animals that can't live in the wild of West Texas. The Nature Center adopts wild animals that have been injured and special kinds of pets that owners can't keep like green iguanas, like Balthazar. They're typically found in Central and South America. Iguanas can grow to be five feet from head to tail. Balthazar loves grapes, hot afternoons, and sleeping in the sun. While green iguanas are beautiful, they can be mean, so don't pet them in the wild. O is for Oscar Ruffini, an architect, el arquitecto. He was, in fact, San Angelo's first architect. Architects draw design and write instructions for buildings to be built. He designed most of the first churches in town and 36 buildings in downtown San Angelo. You can see his work wherever San Angelo's oldest buildings still stand. P 
He is for Performing Arts Center, El Centro de las Artes Eseñas. It's also known as the PAC, where you can watch dance, theater, and music shows. One of the theaters in the pack is called the Black Box. It's a room with plain black walls and a flat floor. The local group, B Theater, uses the space in many new ways, like letting the audience throw popcorn at the actors during a funny summer show called Melodrama. Q is for quilts, Los Edredones. They're special covers that do more than just keep you warm. Not all stories are told in storybooks. Some quilts tell the story of a family's life. A patchwork quilt might be made of pieces of fabric from dad's shirts and sister's dresses. And just seeing it brings back memories of that time. Each design, stitch, and piece of fabric in the quilt tells a story of the person who made it. R is for rodeo, el rodeo. There are bulls that don't want to be ridden, horses that try to toss up their riders, and riders who can make their horses turn very quickly in small spaces. The first San Angelo Rodeo was held in 1934. Today there are lights and big screens, a stock show, and a carnival. A special part of every San Angelo Rodeo is when the ambassadors ride their horses at high speed with flags fluttering above them. S is for sheep, la oveja. There are painted sheep all over San Angelo. In fact, there are now 103 painted sheep. You might want to go and visit them sometime. They have become a symbol of San Angelo. In the 1800s, West Texas was a great place to raise sheep. One shepherd could travel with 1,500 sheep. With all the sheep around, San Angelo was called the wool center of the world. T is for trains, las trenes. The train coming through San Angelo was very, very important in the early days. San Angelo owes much of its early history to trains. People worked hard to build a bridge over the Concho River so that trains wouldn't pass San Angelo by. In 1888, the Santa Fe Railroad came to San Angelo bringing supplies, livestock, and oil. Today, there are still about 26 Texas Pacifico trains that run through the middle of San Angelo each month. U is for uniform, el uniforme, a type of clothing worn by members of a team or a group uniform that means people have the same uh, form, color, or style. Do any of you wear a uniform for your sports? You do? Um, do you wear something special for school sometimes? Do you have school t-shirts? Those are all uniforms. And you can see here that firefighters and uh, policemen, many, many people wear uniforms to, so that you can identify them as, as the helpers in your community. V is for vistas, las vistas panoramica. Their views that let you see a long, long way. Vista is a word used to describe the kind of view you might see from a mountaintop. It means you can see for a long distance without buildings or trees in your way. One of the exciting things about San Angelo is the different beautiful vistas that look different at sunset, daytime, or sunrise. W is for wings, las alas. Planes, helicopters, drones, birds, and sometimes even people fly over San Angelo with all kinds of different wings. Hummingbirds are tiny, but they move fast. They can flap their wings up to 70 times per second. Sometimes their wings even make a humming sound, which is why they're called hummingbirds. X marks the spot. La X marque el lugar. The treasure of San Angelo is the Concho Pearl. This treasure is so rare that it's been hunted for hundreds of years, and that is why San Angelo is known as the Pearl of West Texas. Y is for yellow fields and flowers. Las Campos y Las Flores Amarillos. They cover San Angelo with a glow like sunshine. Texas is known for blue bonnets, but many fields in San Angelo are covered with bright yellow flowers in the sun springtime. And the last letter, Z, is for Las Zapatos. And Zapatos means shoes in English. 
San Angelo has two shops downtown that have been making footwear since San Angelo was barely a town. The zapatos that are original to San Angelo are custom-made botas, or boots. ML Letty and JL Mercy make boots completely by hand that are specially designed for each customer. And that's the story of San Angelo from A to Z, A Young Reader's Guide. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Bond. What a wonderful book. Did y'all enjoy that? Yes. Oh, can we say another big thank you to Dr. Bond and the San Angelo Area Foundation? Thank you. We're so excited that y'all get to go home today and read that with your families and friends and continue you know, reading and building on those skills. Um, I just want to say thank you again to all of our community partners that made this possible for our initial kickoff, because again, this is San Angelo Reads Day, but this is just the beginning. So we're going to have a lot of fun things coming up in the future. So these community partners help make that possible. Um, I feel like I just took a tour of San Angelo. <laughs> it's so fun. So what a wonderful book. I want to remind y'all too, we have a great video that we did that highlights one of each of our third grade third graders at every elementary that you can see on our Facebook page. So go check that out. A lot of fun stuff that we've been doing on our social media today to celebrate San Angelo Reads. Um, my name is Whitney Wood. I'm the communications director for San Angelo ISD. And we are just so excited. As I said before, this is just the beginning. We're going to have so much more coming forward. We want to provide resources to our families, to our students, so that you can not only enjoy and inspire reading in, while you're at school, but also for when you go home so that you can continue building those skills and continue to succeed. So um, we also want to say thank you to HEB for bringing some snacks for our kiddos today. We know it's important to keep those bellies fed so that you can have the energy to read and do all those great things. So we've had a wonderful time today. Thank you, Mayor Gunter, for coming out in the city. Um, it's been a wonderful day. Uh, please continue to check out our social media page and uh, go to our website at www.saisd.org forward slash read. And that's where we've got all the resources for parents and families to use with the kiddos. And we've got great information on other um, things that you can use in the community, such as uh, being able to get a Tom Green County library card. They're really working with us. So there's a lot of great themes out there. So go check it out. and. Join us in this community-wide literacy initiative, and let's read San Angelo.